Hi, Don Green with FirePro USA. I'm going to show you a little demonstration of the difference between water and fire retardant gel. Why I use fire retardant gel to defend structures during wildfires and why I recommend gel to homeowners if they're going to stay and defend their property. So I've got two buckets. I've got one bucket of water. I've got one bucket of gel. Okay, I'm going to take this little stir stick and I'm going to drop it into the water. It's been in there a little while, so it's getting soaked. I'm going to turn my propane torch on here. And what happens here is that obviously that water is going to evaporate rather quickly. And after it evaporates, now we just have bare wood and the wood is going to start on fire, right? Okay, so I'm going to leave that going. I'm going to take, I'll take the other end of the stick, the dry end. I'm going to drop it into the gel. I'm going to take the torch to it. And you can see the difference here in the amount of time. Okay. This gel doesn't evaporate like water does. That's why it's so effective in protecting a structure. In fact, it's so effective that I'll even take this torch to my hand. Obviously, it's not burning my hand. Otherwise, I'd be screaming like crazy. There you go. That's the difference between gel and water and why I recommend fire retardant gel.